What's good everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that camera shutter effect on a roto brush like artist that you just seen. And uh without further ado, let's get straight into it. So uh this video is like pretty low quality because I just downloaded it from the internet. But you're gonna wanna try to roto brush your subject the best you can for about 15 frames, like I did here. As long as it's somewhat decent, it's gonna look fine. You're gonna wanna duplicate, press Ctrl D on that layer four times. So you get four other layers here. And what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna leave these two top layers like they are. And then on this third one, you're gonna wanna go three frames forward, cut it off, go another three frames forward, cut the bottom one off, and then another three frames forward, and then cut the one under that. And delete that. So now they should look something like this. Right, and go to a place where you can see all of them, and just like change their positions so that they're sort of to the side, like this and like that. This one here, and here. Right, so now it should look something like this. They're all like appearing in succession, and they can appear in like any order you want, it's still gonna look good, but um, yeah, you'll be fine. The next thing I want to do is add um, fill. Alright, so fill into After Effects. I'm going to set that. I'm going to add glow. I'm going to radius up a bit so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to want to add this to all the layers. Alright, so it looks like this. Alright, and then on this first layer. In this first layer, you're going to want to keep around the opacity and the glow. Go down to three, set them to zero each. All right. Again, on the next one, keep around, keep around, set them to zero each. The next one, again. And then this one, two, three. Done. So now it should look something like this. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is duplicate all these layers again. And then on the bottom one, just remove the effects. Duplicate this next one. On the bottom one, remove the effects. Duplicate. Remove the effects. Duplicate. And remove the effects. So now you should have this. So it looks like it's like popping into frame with the white. So you've got that. The next thing you want to do is add like any sort of camera, like sound you got. Uh, I'm going to be leaving this one in the description in a Google Drive thing, but if you have other ones that you like, you can use it. You're just going to sync it up to every time a new layer comes in the frame. So like here, 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 and here, and now it should look and sound something like this. That, and then we have the song along with it, it should sound something like this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do this effect. You can also like space the clips out. And, uh, like, make it slower so that it's not so, like, fast, but I like this kind of look where it's fast, something like. But, um, that's just my personal preference. You can use this effect however much you like. And, uh, if you did enjoy the video, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support I've been getting recently. The channel's growing pretty fast. And, uh, I will continue to make content just like this. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one.